the winner of today's game will be taking home the statue of a pig named Floyd of Rosedale. And now let's head down to the coin talk. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20, brought down at the 24. The Golden Gophers in talking with them this week, Kirk, it's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Throws it, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. Gets rid of it quickly. Intercepted. The pressure up front is really what did it. The coverage was good, and maybe it confused him, but it was the heat that forced the bad throw. It's first and 10. Ball in their own 47. to the tailback and he's met in the backfield loss of two by the halfback quick throw caught by the fullback he's taken down at the 45 it's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And he carries the ball for a nice game. With third down and medium, you'd think the defense would have a chance here to get really aggressive and to be able to stop the offense. I don't know, maybe they were anticipating a pass there, but they've got to do a better job of defending the run, especially on third down. And they make the stop at the 16. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. First and 10, ball on the 16-yard line. at the 8-yard line. Touchdown, Hawkeyes! This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. And he adds the extra point. A six play, 52 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running runs. 
Iowa ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Iowa's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. He's pushed out of bounds at the 46. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. him hard at the 35. So the sack makes this third and very long. Passes it to the middle of the field. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Jones is back deep to return. Jones fields it at the 24. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Iowa is up by a touchdown. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. From their own 41-yard line, second down. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. He zips it. He's at the 40. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers and he tackles him hard at the 38 yard line down now and they need to get it to the 29. Gets it out to him again and down he goes right around the 28 yard line. up a score. Oh, 
Goodson gets the ball. Tackle made around the 30-yard line. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 30-yard line, second down. They'll work the left. He's at the 20. He's tackled at about the 11. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Quick throw out to the receiver. Dives forward. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Hawkeyes really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. Gets to about the 27-yard line. It's second and eight. Ball on their own 27. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's taken down around the 35-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. And he's stopped behind the line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Here's an opening. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Brought down around the 48-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. This is the eighth play of this drive. Aaron and out long. 
The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense and alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. The Hawkeyes really could have uh, overlooked this team today, I think, very easily, but they haven't done that so far. No, you can't take anybody too lightly, and they've obviously not done that. They come out of the gate today and really put a lot of points up on the board. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 38. Fights forward to about the 39. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. From their own 41 yard line. It's third down. Going deep. Missed him. So that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Potts is the deep man awaiting the return. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Iowa is looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time, but let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ballgame. We've played one. The Hawkeyes lead 14-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Thomas takes it left. They'll get him for a loss. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Gets hit out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Going long. Caught out in the open. Inside the 30. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 80-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 26-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Iowa up seven points. They're going to pitch it. They'll knock him down for a loss. That'll bring up second and 11. Two, 
from their own 25 yard line. It's second down. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. He's on the run. Pass is tipped away. Wasn't a bad pass at all, but just a good heads-up effort to get his fingertips on the ball. That'll make it fourth and 14. Taylor awaits the snap. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Potts takes it to 28. Minnesota's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Caught enough for the first down. Tackle at about the 31. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31. run and he's brought down well they finally got him but not before he picked up six yards on the draw that'll make it second and four Taken down at the 25. A good tackling safety is key for any defense. And if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. They're about four yards away here on third down. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Brad, the quarterback and this wide receiver clearly have outstanding chemistry. Wide receiver is so open because it was a perfect route, and the quarterback was able to time it up just perfectly. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He sheds it. They'll bring him down at the 21. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And they make the stop at the 22. That brings up second and nine. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Taken down in the backfield. Call it a loss of one yard on the way. That brings up third and ten. Now, 
Slings it. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Taylor is waiting for the snap. He really got a hold of that one. Pops fields it at the 27, and down he goes at the 34-yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Run left side. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He zips it. This one will fall incomplete. He was that close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled at the 31. First down. First and 10, ball on the 31-yard line. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and nine. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Game seven on the play. First down. From the 15 yard line. First down. And that sets them up with a first and goal. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Tackle made around the three-yard line. Well, I, I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, if you're calling the plays, listen up. This is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. And he's sacked. Wow, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. It's third and goal from the 10. They'll probably look to the air here. They come out on an empty backfield. He's tackled the seven-yard line. Three yards there on the play. The freshman took the quick pass, but the defense made a very nice read on the play. He didn't have anywhere to go. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Setting up play action. Going deep, lays it out there. Second and 10, ball on the 25. Keep 15, keep 15. Hey, check right, check right. Check right. 
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Over the middle to his tailback. Brought down at the 43-yard line. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. He fights forward to about the 46. They'll line it up again on third down. He sails it long. No, incomplete. Taylor to punt. The Golden Gophers get ready to go in here at halftime. They've got their star player not having the kind of game he normally has on a weekly basis, and yet they've got the lead. And with that in mind, third and fourth quarter could belong to them. Third and fourth quarter should belong to them because I have a lot of confidence that this offense is eventually going to start to click. And, and once they do, I think it's a matter of time until you really find out what they're capable of doing. The defense, I think, has done a good enough job of slowing down that star tailback. We'll see if they can hold on here in the second half. They're about four yards away here on second down. Minnesota is up by three. The Cavalry's coming. Brought down in the open field. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. field with five wide. And they get nice yardage on that run. for the conversion, no good. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's got it out to his tight end. He's hit and taken down. The Hawkeyes call a timeout. That's their second of the half from the 47-yard line. First down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. They'll make the sack. We've played a half. The Golden Gophers in front, 17-14.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. And he's tackled after positive yardage. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. about the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 29. No gain on the play. That brings up second and nine. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Next 13, next 13. First down grab by the receiver. He's taken down at about the 13. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. First and 10. Ball on the 13. Nice run up the middle. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Goodson gets it on the inside. Maybe a yard on that draw play. 
So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. Here's the handoff and he's brought down right away. hit out of bounds at the three they don't pick up the first down and the ball will change hands so we're just about ready to return to action they're packed in tight on the line Morgan with a nice play fake and he's got all the time in the world he steps up and he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's second down. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. Thomas gets the ball, and they'll get him in the backfield. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. I'm not even sure the ball carrier saw the corner coming for him. That happened so fast, he never had a chance to make a move. They come out in a goal line set. Dumps it complete, it's the fullback over the middle. And they make the stop at about the three yard line. Minnesota holds a field goal lead. Jones fields at the 44, and he just got drilled. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Setting up blockers or running backs, got it on the screen, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 36. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. Wide open, and he just drops it. out to his wide out. They'll bring him down at about the 27 yard line. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. Slings it. And he's tackled at the 25 yard line. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. No game on the play. That makes it second and 10. From the 25-yard line, second down. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. A yard, maybe two on the screen pass. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Iowa can tie it up here with this kick. 
He gets it up, and it's long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. This game is all tied up at 17. Taylor has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. They bring him down in the backfield. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. It's second and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Crawford is the putter. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. And off up the middle and he's stuffed. Excellent job by the defense to diagnose the play so quickly. This is really a well-coached unit. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Zips it to the back. He's tackled right around the 34. And he throws right away. Tackle made at the 37. Seven yard line. First down. Go, go. And he's taken down at the 26. to about the 24-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 24. Inside the 10. Knocked out of bounds around the four-yard line. the extra point.
Taylor has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Brought down at the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. They come out in a five-wide set. He laterals. Got an opening. Gets to around the 42. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 42. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. They come out on an empty backfield. Decides to slide. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 26. Throws a laser across the middle. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He laterals the ball. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. To be able to come out and score in your first drive tells you a lot about what they did during the half. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. So with one quarter remaining, we get a tie game here, not at 24. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Nice run there. Goodson gains about four yards on the play. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Fights forward to about the 43. That'll make it 35. Go. 
Gets it out in a hurry. Incomplete. Almost picked off. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And he has it on the corner. Potts takes it to 20. He's pushed out of bounds around the 32-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And they push him out to the 37-yard line. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 37. And that one's incomplete. catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. From their own 45-yard line. First down. Tackle at the 47-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. From the 39-yard line, first down. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved him back. Morgan gets about four yards on the option keeper. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. to his man on the screen and they make the stop right around the 32 yard line it has the distance and he got it to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. They have time on the clock, so I wouldn't rush things here. The important thing is to move the ball down the field and put points on the board. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. With the misdirection, he fights forward to about the 26. Counter play is good for about a yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26 yard line, it's second down. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. Across the middle, caught. They'll bring him down at the 39. First and 10. Ball on the 39 yard line. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Here comes a pressure. Going right to his tailback. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Run left side, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll make it 35. Man left, man left. He lets it go, and it's incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Golden Gophers offensive coaching staff's got to be asking the question, can we do this every week? Well, I think any great offense comes in with a plan, with an ability to run and to throw. And because this defense is so determined to stop the running game, you kind of turn the page in the playbook and you start to throw the ball more. They've recognized that, and they've done a very nice job of executing. He throws. That's incomplete. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Minnesota has a three-point lead. Pitches back. Room around the corner. And he shoved out of bounds around the 38-yard line. First down. He might have a chance. Gets out to around the 48. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings them second and five. From the 47 yard line. Second down. He's into the open field. He's at the 30. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 26 yard line. First down. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. screen pass they'll wrestle him down in the backfield and they'll lose a the yard there not much going on there those kind of plays will not work against this defense you can be sure of that we've got a second and 11 ball on the 27 yard line a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter the gut 
Thomas picks up five with the carry. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Here's the screen to the wideout. Tackle made at the 21-yard line. Iowa's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Kicks away, and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. The Hawkeyes have played poorly all day long. That really doesn't matter right now. And they've played sloppy. They're not going to be happy when they go back and look at the film on Monday. But with all that being said, they still have a chance to win this game. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters is trying to get that W. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Oh, they really needed that one, and he dropped it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. First down grab by the receiver, and down he goes at the 41. Just under two minutes in the game. He throws left, and it's intercepted by the freshman cornerback. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. From their own 43-yard line, first down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Got some open field. Makes it to the 47. The Hawkeyes using their third and last timeout. And he's taken down at the 37. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. There he goes. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 30-24, Minnesota. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.